the Samsung Galaxy S8, despite its age, is still one hell of a handset. And if you are comfortable unlocking its bootloader, the phone is still 100% worth buying in 2020. And here's why. So Samsung Galaxy S8 was a really futuristic de design. That's why it still don't look as old as the iPhone SE look. Whereas iPhone SE is just, just released a month ago and this device has been released about 3 years old. Depending on where you where you live, you are either get Exynos or Qualcomm variant. With Qualcomm 835 in US, UK markets, whereas Exynos in Indian markets, and you and some of European markets. So the design is still stunning. Even now, three generations later, the Samsung Galaxy S8 still looks as stunning as it did the day it was launched. With the slim profile curved display and 84.1a screen to body ratio, it is still a power handset, especially if wrapped in an eye-catching skin. The handset is a tall in order to accommodate its 18 is to 5 is to 9 infinity display, but that's okay. You will adjust to this benefit benefits far outweigh the out downsides. You have a fingerprint scanner on the back of the phone. Ideally, placed buttons for power button and Bixby control. On whole, the Samsung Galaxy S8 design is treatable to just how Samsung great industrial design really. The Samsung Galaxy S8 features a 12 megapixel main camera with f1.7 aperture, dual pixel flash detect autofocus and optical image stabilization which is still very good. It was introduced in Samsung Galaxy S7 and from that from the Galaxy S7 the Samsung cameras are really better. I have never seen as improvement from the uh, from the S7. S7 was one of the biggest improvement because it brought the dual pixel and from that to the latest Samsung Galaxy S10, S11, S12 it is not as much different as the S6, S5 and the S7 cameras were. Another cool thing about the Galaxy S8, it's got a 3.4mm headphone jack, a thing missing on all new Samsung phones if you like wired headphones and incredible value, it is an incredible value for phone, the Galaxy S8 could well be the phone you have been searching for and there is micro sd card support too so not only the samsung galaxy s8 supports micro sd card it also support and um, it might mean it has hybrid sim slot so either you can put two sim cards or you can use one sim card and another you can put a micro sd card and actually fun fact i'm using my iphone 7 as primary device and this device still from 2017 i'm using this device as my secondary device so you can guess it like i have re i have bought all my devices in 2017 and i've never upgraded <laughs> all right so things to keep in mind okay that's a lot of positive right the good here good news in positive massively outweighed the negative here although there are a couple of things you need to keep in your mind running an older samsung phone it really slows down and same with this with this so if you are buying Samsung Galaxy S8 now, then make sure you buy an unlocked model. Once you have the phone, you will want to unlock its bootloader so you can install a custom ROM on your phone. Custom ROMs are basically frogged version of Android that are updated regularly. Most are based on the latest builds of Android and so they ensure your phone is always up to date. Almost most custom ROMs are now less CPU intensive than Samsung own software so the performance of samsung galaxy uh, s8 would be actually better than it was when it for re first released so that's it for today's video if you do end up liking my video be sure to hit a like button and subscribe to my channel till then peace out and i'll meet you all in the very next episode